So I have a pretty interesting video today. I don't think I've ever done this for Marineland, but we're going to go over Marineland's next four years as a theme park. So Marineland's quite the inter interesting park. Um, the previous uh, owner passed away and the wife has since taken over the park and uh, she has a new vision for the park. So Moving forward, it looks like Marineland wants to envision itself as an actual amusement park and move away from animal care, which is quite interesting as a lot of the negative attention that this park has gotten has been centered around its animal care under the previous owner. Moving forward, it looks like Marineland really does want to do the right thing, and it, in my personal opinion, it needs to be given the right chance and the right opportunity to do so. So I'm going to go over what I think and what is happening over the next four years. I'm going to go over four years as five years is a little too far out for a park like this. All I can say is I ultimately do believe every year over the next four years is going to be quite interesting from this park from what I'm hearing. So again, this is going to be a really interesting video as this park has some pretty big plans up its sleeve. So for those of you that don't know, um, they have hired a theme park analyst to come on board and help change the park over to an actual amusement park, moving away from a zoo slash theme park um, in itself. So the park has been mostly animals and a few select family rides and one coaster, um, thrill coaster, and then like two thrilling flat rides. So they're, they're definitely upping their strategy in terms of putting themselves on the map, and uh, they definitely have some really awesome things up their sleeve. So I'm going to go over those. Again, this is just going to be four years starting with the current year. So as you see on the screen, this is a star shape. I think that's what it's called by Zier. Um, and it is a thrilling flat ride. And there is nothing like it in North America yet. So this is a, will be a first of its kind. I can confirm this is what Marineland is getting for the 2020 season. Um, and it looks absolutely insane. Definitely a brilliant choice for the park. It differentiates itself from Canada's Wonderland by them picking a flat ride like this. So this will be coming in the 2020 season where Topple Tower used to be located. So um, this is the 2020 attraction. Um, they are also getting a kids flat ride over in the kids section. Um, we're hearing that it's either going to be a merry-go-round or some sort of ZR uh, family ride or kids ride as well. That being said, it's probably just going to be some sort of spinning um, ride. So this brings us to the 2021 season. So we are now uh, confirming that Magical Experience, which you are seeing on the screen right now, us riding back in 2019, um, should be retiring at the end of the 2020 season if they do open the season um, due to things going on globally. So this should be its final season operating, and our prediction for the 2021 season is it'll be replaced by an s, &S Scream and Swing. So the park usually works with manufacturers that it has um, already worked with. This park is very similar to Cedar Fair. It sticks to what they know works best. So in terms of picking a flat ride that would be next in the lineup, it was quite easy, actually. I think there's a very high possibility that the Scream and Swing is what's going to be replacing Magical Experience as the park has a very close relationship with SNS and Zier. So those are two companies. And when you look at the flat rides that they provide, Marineland either has them or it just doesn't make sense in the portfolio due to Canada's Wonderland literally being an hour away. So an SNS Scream and Swing would be that final flat ride that Canada's Wonderland doesn't have. And it is provided by one of the two manufacturers that Marineland typically uses. So with that being said, can you imagine a star shape and an SNS Scream and Swing at Marineland? That already in a two year period has set them um, in stone flat ride wise. I know I would be going to this park a lot with just those two flat rides added. Wait till you see some of the other plans that I think Marineland has up their sleeves in the coming years. So comment down below um, what you guys think could be one of the um, flat rides added in 2021 again it is almost confirmed that magical experience will be leaving the park for the 2020 season to make room for an attraction to be added in the 2021 season with that being said in the year 2022 or 2023 these next two attractions could interchange we are predicting that marine land will complete a water park expansion that it has up its sleeves and it could potentially be located where the deer enclosure is currently located. This makes sense because they had a really bad run-in with some really nasty protesters 
um, last year. Again, this is not the park's fault whatsoever. In fact, when you compare the deer enclosure to any other zoo out there, the deer have one of the biggest enclosures you can possibly imagine. The treatment of the deer is definitely, um, in my personal opinion, from what I saw and experienced, there were nothing wrong with the deer from what I saw. I'm not an animal expert, but I, again, I'm just going off of space. I personally don't see any signs of Marineland deliberately mistreating their animals, and the enclosure size was absolutely massive. But that being said, there were some really nasty protesters that caused a stampede um, and injured and uh, unfortunately killed some of the uh, deer in this enclosure. So I think that because of that, Marineland might be looking to uh, get rid of that. As you saw in their previous post, they're looking to move away from animals and more into attractions. And this would be the perfect location for a water park. That being said as well, with the water park, you can also have a parking lot just behind the water park there for separate admission, which would also help Marineland with a second source of income for the park. So I'm definitely... Uh, predicting that a water park connecting the splash pad, if you see I drew in blue, really sloppy, uh, a bridge that would connect over the path, or Marineland, who knows, they might just have you the ability to walk across the path. Who knows? It's a very open park. You can even walk into um, lockout zones <laughs> or uh, storage uh, facilities on the property. Um, but definitely predicting a water park in this location with maybe a wave pool, a couple of slides, and then the, a very impressive already built splash pad that Marineland has, it would be very easy for them to set themselves in stone as a, a destination water park in Canada. Canada has some of the worst water parks I've ever seen outside of Wet n Wild um, in Mississauga or Toronto. Definitely that is the best water park. And then outside of that, all the other water parks are just trash other than the indoor water park that is in Niagara. I heard that's somewhat good, but it's still very easy to set yourself in stone in that market. And I think it would be very brilliant now you're probably wondering why there's a giant red circle on the screen in front of you. Um, so this is where we believe a roller coaster will be going um, at Marineland. We think that Marineland will be getting its third roller coaster. Um, and again, that's including the Kitty roller coaster. And it will most likely be either... Um, Zier is a is a definitely a possibility. Premier could be a possibility as well, but very unlikely. The most possible idea that we've come up with is an SNS roller coaster um, for Marineland. There is a small chance that they could go down the wooden roller coaster route with the cost of steel, um, and they definitely it would definitely benefit Marineland to have a a nice cheap but amazing wooden roller coaster in their lineup and would be very easy for them to do. So a wooden roller coaster is the second most likely option, um, in my opinion, that could be coming to Marineland. But I really do think Marineland might go down the launch coaster route with S&S. &S. And, and more importantly, I think that a Max Force style S&S &S roller coaster could be very likely for Marineland. They could definitely go after Wonderland's launch records by having one of the fastest launch coasters in the world with still a very small footprint, not costing them too much. Um, and they wouldn't need to buy a lot of trains. They could literally just have two trains and then, or one train, whatever they prefer, something down those, that route. There are other possibilities like a 4D free spin, SNS 4D free spin, or even a premier, um, I forget the name of them now. I'm, I'm just embarrassing myself, but the launch coaster that just got built at Tigris at, um, Bush Gardens, Tampa. Wow, I need my Starbucks coffee. Um, but yes, something like that, a premier launch coaster uh, that's very cheap. Those are two possibilities that could also be coming to Marineland. But I definitely think a wooden coaster is the second most likely. And then a S&S &S launch coaster would be most likely coming to Marineland. And it would go somewhere in this space as this was supposed to be a bird sanctuary under the previous owner. But then the wife canceled it the immediate, immediately as she took over the park again, in her steps to move away from uh, animals. So definitely good signs coming out of Marineland. Definitely a very bright future. I'm super excited. Definitely want to hear from you guys down below in the comment section what you think could be the coaster and is the water park edition a very likely option. Comment down below what you guys think. Again, we are very uh, strongly moving towards a lot of these possibilities happening. We have some inside information on Marineland. And we're very fortunate to have that. So thanks again for watching our five-year plan for Marineland. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.